It's probably a bit outrageous to share holiday snaps with you, but this beautiful scene is the River Tweed in the Scottish Borders, just south of Peebles, where we were staying in a cottage last week. Rather different from the Tuscan countryside, where my grandfather had been planning to take us all as a family, but nonetheless rich in its own moments of calm and stillness after what, for all of us, has been a roller coaster of a few months. Summer holidays always give each one of us time to draw breath, to take time and reflect upon the year past, about our achievements, about our hopes and so on. But this year my brain just simply couldn't do it, that cupboard uh, up there just wouldn't open. I just needed time to take a deep breath, enjoy the silence and absorb the fact, uh, as I'm sure many of you are doing uh, on holiday this year, that we're still here. God is still God and God as we see him in Jesus Christ, never ceasing in his desire to draw near to us, to show us his love, to show us how nothing, neither plague nor war nor even death itself can separate us from that love. It's amazing how often the sturdy hills or the flowing river can underline that fact to us. Think of Isaac Watts' great hymn based upon Psalm 90, O God our help in ages past. Time, he wrote, like an ever rolling stream bears all its sons away. They fly forgotten as a dream dies at the opening day. O God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Be thou our God while troubles last and our eternal home. Wherever you are this summer, I hope that you find some space, some break in your proceedings which allow you to breathe, to know God's abiding presence in your life and to discover those famous words of St Paul from 2 Corinthians. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. See, all is becoming new.